A slender object passed very close to the sun. Its name is Oumuamua. Because of its unusual shape and mysterious acceleration, some said this object might be a spacecraft sent by extraterrestrial life. So, what is Oumuamua and where did it come from? On October 19, 2017, Canadian astronomer Robert Warrick discovered an unknown object. The object's location was 21 million miles from Earth. This distance is about 85 times the distance between the Earth and the Moon, which is relatively close. Despite being so close to Earth, this object had not been discovered before which motivated research institutions around the world. Large telescopes simultaneously targeted this object. Observations revealed details about it. Its name is Oumuamua. Its total length is less than 1,100 yards, and its width is about one-tenth of its length, making it very elongated. Its traveling speed was 25 miles per second. Strangely, this object showed mysterious acceleration that did not depend on gravity. From these observations, the possibility that the unknown object was artificial surfaced. Research groups studying extraterrestrial life also got involved. They observed whether any artificial electromagnetic waves were emitted from the object. However, no such electromagnetic waves were detected. Where did this object come from? Let's rewind time a little and follow Oumuamua. Oumuamua traveled through space at a speed of 16 miles per second. It travels one light year in 11,400 years. While continuing its journey, Oumuamua was caught by a massive gravity source. That source was the sun. Oumuamua gradually approached the sun. In 1995, Oumuamua entered the area we generally consider the solar system. It was captured by the sun's gravity. About five years later, in 2000, Oumuamua reached about 100 astronomical units from the sun. One AU is the distance of Earth's orbit approximately 93 million miles. Thus, 100 astronomical units is about twice the distance between the Sun and Pluto. From here, Oumuamua began accelerating rapidly. Then, in 2016, it moved inside Saturn's orbit and accelerated further due to increased gravity. On August 9, 2017, Oumuamua reached one astronomical unit meaning the distance of Earth's orbit. Just one month later, it approached to 0.16 astronomical units from the Sun. At this turning point, its maximum speed reached 54.5 miles per second. For reference, the speed of an artificial satellite orbiting Earth is 4.9 miles per second. The Apollo spacecraft that traveled between Earth and the Moon reached 6.8 miles per second. And the escape velocity to leave the solar system is 10.5 miles per second. Oumuamua, moving at 54.5 miles per second near the Sun, is incredibly fast. This speed helps estimate where Oumuamua came from. Let's consider orbital eccentricity. Orbital eccentricity is closely related to an object's speed. It is a parameter that defines the exact shape of an orbit, representing the characteristics of a conic section. The value starts at zero. At zero, the orbit is a perfect circle. As the value increases to 0 0.01, 0 0.1, or 0.25, the orbit becomes an ellipse. When the eccentricity equals exactly 1, the orbit is parabolic, and when it exceeds 1, it becomes hyperbolic. In other words, 
If the value is less than 1, the object orbits the Sun, but if it is greater than 1, it flies away somewhere. For example, planets in the solar system have eccentricities close to zero, and their orbits are almost circular. Earth's eccentricity is about 0.016. Mercury has the largest eccentricity among planets in the solar system, approximately 0.205. Normally, objects near a star like Mercury have their rotations locked, always showing the same face toward the star. However, Mercury's high eccentricity means it moves in an elliptical orbit, allowing it to avoid being tidally locked. Halley's Comet, unlike planets, moves in an elliptical orbit with an eccentricity of 0.967, which is very close to 1, showing a very elongated path. It clearly shows that its orbit is very different from planets. What about Oumuamua? Oumuamua's orbital eccentricity is 1.19. Since this is greater than 1, it approaches the Sun once but will not return. However, even if the eccentricity is greater than 1, it is difficult to determine whether the object came from outside the solar system. This is because some objects initially have eccentricities less than 1, orbiting elliptically around the Sun, but their orbits can be disturbed and their eccentricities can increase beyond one. A real example is Comet Bowel. Originally, Bowel was a solar system object with an extremely elliptical orbit and a period of 7.1 million years. However, on December 9, 1980, it passed very close to Jupiter and performed a gravity assist maneuver. Receiving orbital energy from Jupiter, Bowel accelerated increasing its eccentricity beyond one and began leaving the solar system. At first, Oumuamua was also thought to be a solar system object, disturbed like Comet Bowel. However, comparing their eccentricities reveals a big difference. Bowel's eccentricity is 1.058, the largest among solar system objects. Oumuamua's is 1.19, this much larger eccentricity is strong evidence that Oumuamua came from outside the solar system. Moving at tremendous speed toward the Sun, Oumuamua reached 0.248 astronomical units from the Sun on September 6, 2017. The Sun's strong gravity bent its path and changed its direction. Only one month after approaching the Sun again on October 14, it passed through Earth's orbit. Five days after crossing Earth's orbit, on October 19th, we confirmed Oumuamua's location and existence. However, once Oumuamua moved outside Mars's orbit, we lost track of it. It was too small and too fast to track and observe. Although the observation period was short, lasting only a few weeks, detailed analysis revealed its precise orbit. Calculations suggest that Oumuamua is currently near Uranus's orbit. By around 2030, Oumuamua is expected to leave the solar system and begin a long journey drifting through space again. A UK nonprofit proposed the Oumuamua Exploration Project to catch up with and observe it. The project is called Project Lyra. According to the plan, a probe would perform two gravity assists around Earth, then one around Venus before heading toward Jupiter. At Jupiter, it would use a special powered gravity assist called the Oberth effect. This powered gravity assist adds rocket engine thrust during the maneuver to accelerate the probe more efficiently. According to Project Lyra, this method would allow the probe to catch Oumuamua by January 29, 2050. This is only a hypothetical project and has no current plans for execution. However, since another object like Oumuamua might never approach again, 
this project is worth realizing while we have the chance. In 2017, the interstellar object Oumuamua suddenly appeared. This fast-moving, elongated object passed unnoticed, using the sun's gravity to change direction. We could observe Oumuamua for only a few weeks. While many discoveries were made, this was too short to fully understand its true nature. The possibility that Oumuamua is artificial is not zero. It came from the edge of the universe and will disappear again into the vast cosmos. With growing curiosity, we want to explore as many mysteries of the universe as possible.